Hey everyone, welcome back to Liz Fenwick DIY. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn a $15 chandelier into a $300 chandelier. So just keep watching. I get so many questions asking about the lighting in my house. People are like, did you paint that? What'd you do with that? How did you get that look? So here's my secret. We all know that lighting can be really expensive. So what I like to do is go to Habitat for Humanity and go through all their lighting. People get rid of their old lighting all of the time. And most of the time, these light fixtures are anywhere between 10 and $25. Now the key with Habitat for Humanity is you have to find a good style that looks modern, but maybe just needs some paint to update it or maybe some new light bulbs or different things like that. So last time I was at Habitat for Humanity, I came across this chandelier and it was in that real old gold color that was more from the 90s. So I knew that I could update this and make it a look a little bit more modern and it would look beautiful in my dining room all of the little hanging pieces were on the chandelier. So that was great and that was one of the other reasons that I picked it up. So the first thing that you wanna do when you get your chandelier home is clean it really well. So I'm using glass cleaner and a rag and I'm taking off every single one of the hanging pieces and cleaning all sides of them. From there, you also want to clean the base of this really well. Make sure that you get all of the dust off of it because you are gonna be painting it and you don't want any of that dust hanging around. Next, you need to figure out what color you want to make your, your chandelier or your light fixture. So what I suggest doing is looking online, looking at like Wayfair, going to Lowe's, looking at lighting stores, figuring out what are modern trendy colors. So I knew that for this chandelier, I wanted to keep it gold, but modern trendy gold is more of like a deep brass color. So went to Walmart and I looked through the spray paints and I was trying to find one that matched perfectly. I couldn't find exactly what I wanted, but I knew I could add to it and make it look the way I wanted it to. So I found a metallic finish paint by Rust-Oleum and it was more of a deeper gold that I was looking for. And I sprayed my entire piece with this paint. You want to make sure that you spray your chain and then that piece that goes at the top. So make sure you get all of the elements sprayed. Also make sure that you flip the piece over and spray the backside as well. Okay, so once everything has a chance to dry, you need to look at it and see if you're happy with it or think you need to add something. I always usually need to add something. So for me, the problem with it was that it wasn't a deep enough color and it was too shiny for me. I think that more modern fixtures aren't as shiny. They don't have that, um, I, uh, uh, shiny is the only word I can come up with, um, look to them. So to tone this down, you could use several things. You could use like a dark wax paint. What I decided to use, which is kind of my new favorite thing right now, is this vintage effects wash in the color brown. I grabbed mine on Amazon. I'll link it below if you guys are interested in this. And I haven't used any other colors, so I've only used the brown. But what I wanted to do with this was basically put the paint onto the piece and then almost wipe most of it off. And what this was going to do was it was going to darken my color up a little bit and it was gonna take away some of that shine that I didn't like. It was too metallic-y to me. So I did that on the top piece, my chain, and then the whole lighting fixture. Thank you. 
Next, it's time to hang up this light fixture. And I'm lucky enough that my husband knows how to hang up light fixtures. So he removed the old one and he put the new one in place. One of the things you need to decide is where you want your light fixture to hang. And for me, I think you want to hang them as low as possible if they're going underneath a table. I only could hang mine the distance of the chain that I had, so I hung it as low as I had chain for. So once he got it completely in place, the next step to modernizing this light fixture is putting in some light bulbs that are more modern. So I went to Lowe's and I found some light bulbs that were a little bit more modern and that fit into my decor a little bit better. From there, all I had to do was just put all the hanging pieces back on my chandelier. And you guys are gonna have to let me know, did I turn this $15 light fixture into a $300 light fixture in the comments below? I think it turned out great. If you guys are interested in seeing me chalk paint a light fixture, let me know in the comments. I've done that for several light fixtures in my house and they've turned out great. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our DIYs. And I'll link our last DIY here and I'll talk to you guys in our next video. Bye.